section 8.4 convection correlations for internal flow uh, in this section we are going to cover um, how to compute or how to select the convection correlations for different situations in which we have laminar or turbulent flow or if we are located in the entry region we have to identify if that conditions corresponds to an end thermal entry or combined entry we have to define these two terms and uh, after that we should be able to select the appropriate and, and correlation for the nasal number and be able to solve problems in, involving internal flow um, the first step is for the laminar case for the laminar case um, we start with the balance equation and we can get the correlations actually in an analytical way and the balance equation is presented here and is developed um, fully in the book um, I'm not going to go over that but I'm going to present the correlation for two different situations when we have uh, heat transfer flux constant in that case the nozzle is going to be equal to H multiplied by D divided by K is equal to 4.36 and if we have temperature constant on the surface nozzle D which is HD over K is equal to 3.66 so we have two very straightforward relationship for nozzle number in the case of laminar flow now for the case of turbulent flow um, all the correlations are going to be experimental and we have three main correlations the d 2 Bolter, Cedar and Tate and the Nielsky correlation excuses for the wrong pronunciation of these number names okay the d 2 Bolter correlation uh, it uh, works for Reynolds number higher than 10,000 and it's expressed in this way so it will depend on N and we select N according um, if we are in a cooling situation or we are in a heating situation in the case of cooling the temperature of the surface is lower than the mean temperature of the fluid and we select 0.3 otherwise we are in a heating situation and we select 0.4 the cedar and tape equation uh, is also valid for Reynolds bigger than 10,000 uh, this is very good for large property variations so the nozzle number is uh, given in terms of Crandall's and Reynolds and and the viscosity so we have new and new s so how do we select those for our pipe <clears throat> so new is going to be computed from tables at the average of the mean temperature on the pipe and mu s is going to be compute at the temperature of the surface and so this is good for large panels like oils finally we have the Gilinski correlations that consider the effects of uh, world roughness and transitional flow conditions and is good for Reynolds bigger than 3000 and is going to be given in terms of uh, the friction factor Reynolds and Prandtl when we are in the entry region the flow coming from the left is going to have a region in which the boundary layer uh, developed and for the fluid entry region we are going to denote it as X fully developed uh, hydraulically so this is going to be the distance so the um, entry region for mm, the thermal conditions are going to be at a longer distance in general because we need 
the first of all the fluid to be fully developed in order to the thermal to be fully developed so in general it will be after the velocity is fully developed and so at this point we are going to have the x fully developed thermally so this is the situation for prandtl's bigger than one like oils uh, we can have an, a um, particular situation in which uh, so in, in this case the temperature we have this is heated ts is heated or is colder than the fluid but it is all the way but we can have a situation in which the actual temperature changes only after some distance from the entrance so this is the they say heated or cooled region so in that particular case even that the fluid entrance is the same so this is x fully developed thermally sorry hydraulically the boundary layer for the thermal conditions only start to develop from the point in which the heated region starts so the distance is going to be much larger so in these two situations we are going to call thermal entry so thermal entry means that the distance for fully developed velocity and temperature are different the other case in which both are at the same distance so x fully developed thermally and x fully developed hydraulically at the same distance so we call that a combine so this is going to be called a combined entry for this case Prandtl it's approximately equal to 1 so this is the case of gases so depending on the entry region that we have we can have different correlations for this section so we are going to look into those correlations and that correlations are summarized in these two um, graphs so on the left hand side we have um, uh, local coefficients and in the right hand side we have average coefficients so if we look into and the first table for local coefficients on the x-axis we have this dimensionless number which is the Gratz number so the Gratz number is defined in terms of Prandtl's, Reynolds, the diameter and x so we have here the inverse of the Gratz number and on the y-axis we have nozzle, nozzle D so the way of using the, uh, the graph is um, we go from one graph number and we are going to hit one of these and then we can compute the nozzle number now we have in this case four different uh, uh, lines two of them corresponds to the combined entry regions for Prandtl's approximately equal to 7 and the dash lines are going to be for thermal entry length so for thermal we have these two cases and for combined um, the solid lines on the top the top lines corresponds to constant surface heat flux and the bottom lines corresponds to constant temperature surface temperature so depending if we have 
constant surface or, and temperature or heat or we have a thermal entry or a combined entry we use these different plots so we can go and find our value the, for the average situation um, only results for the combined entry and presented and um, they are given by these uh, two plots that are depending on Prandtl number so the top one corresponds to Prandtl 0 0.7 and the bottom one corresponds to Prandtl 0 0.5 something in between it will be in between the two ones summarizing so we have different situations so we have laminar flow we have turbulent and in laminar um, we have uh, the entry and the fully developed and in turbulent we have the fully developed depending on each situation we can have the corresponding correlation